people. John, you know, people are still cleaning up from the damage from the last storms we had. Mm -hmm. And today is going to be a busy day of cleanup and power restoration again around parts of the St. Louis area after the last storms we just saw. All right. Now we've got this morning Chris Renier. He has been traveling around right now. He's in Afton with a look at some of the damage there. Chris, how bad is it? It's spotty, John, but where it has happened, it certainly had an impact. Good morning to you, Blair. Good morning to you as well. We are on Starboard Drive here in Afton, not far from Gravoy. Parts of this neighborhood definitely feeling the impact from those storms yesterday and last night. Take a look behind us here. A large section of a tree falling onto the roof of the home here on Starboard Drive, doing some roof and gutter damage. That tree also falling across the driveway and then winding up on the roof of the home next door as well. We can show you some video. Uh, we also took last night of the general area here as the storms were moving through. The force of the storm downing power lines and toppling some trees. Amron, Missouri reporting more than 10,000 customers still out of power this morning. About half of those customers are in St. Louis County. There are also some in St. Louis City as well as St. Francis County where Jamie is heading and Washington County as well. About 10,200 people still out of power. We are not hearing any reports of injuries, but the damage areas include the South County area, this general Afton area where we are, and then farther to the south as well. We've been driving through this immediate neighborhood here, and you'll see some branches down every so often, some trees that are kind of uh, clipped in half by the force of the storm. So clearly some heavy winds came through here. I was speaking with a resident a few minutes ago off camera here talking about he was driving during this storm and had some power outages happen basically right in front of him. The immediate street we're on here appears to have power right now. So it's more of a damage issue to homes like the one behind me. But there will certainly be some cleanup that needs to be done in this neighborhood as today unfolds. For now, live in Afton, Chris Renier, Fox News.